In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a simple Venn diagram. If you search on YouTube or the blogs, you'll find there's some that use quite complicated calculations, but it's actually much simpler than you think. I've gone ahead and connected to the Superstore dataset, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a Venn diagram that shows customers that made purchases in the East, customers that made purchases in the West, and customers that made purchases in both regions. So I'm going to start off by creating a calculated field. I'm going to call this my Venn placement. I'm going to say if the region is equal to the East, then 1. Else if the region is equal to the West, then 2. End. Hit OK. And now when I put my Venn placement in the, in the uh, I want to make this a dimension and make it continuous. And now when I place this in the view, you see I get two marks, one at one and one at zero. And then I have some nulls. That's for my east, that's for my, uh, my west in this, I'm sorry, the, the central and the south. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that indicator. I'm then going to go ahead and put region onto the color shelf so I get separate colors. Change the mark type to a circle. And we're getting close. I'm just going to go ahead and drag the view down a bit so we can see it a bit better. Okay, so this represents my customers in the east, I'm sorry, the east and the west regions. If I want to count the customers, I'm just going to right click and drag customer ID to the label shelf and do count distinct of customer ID. I also want region on the label shelf. And now I can customize this label. So maybe I'll make my region like 11 point and I'll make my numbers nice and big, maybe 14 point. And I'm going to center them and place them below the circle. So now we need to create that overlap. To do that, I'm just going to put an inline calculation. So I'm just going to do the average of zero. It doesn't really matter what I put in there. And you'll see I've got another shelf now. And on this shelf, I'm going to change the mark to a text. And I'm going to remove all three of these fields from the view and we get just a text object. Now this field we want to represent all of the customers that made purchases in the East and the West. But let me show you how that works. So I'm going to build a new sheet with customer ID on the, on the rows and I'm going to filter down to the East and West regions and then put region on to the column shelf. When I put really any measure into the view you'll see that I can tell when purchases were made in the East and when they were made in the West because I could see there's two marks for this first customer. That means they made purchases in both. So I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field that looks at each customer and checks whether they made a purchase in the East and they made a purchase in the West. So I'm going to say uh, combined purchases. And I'm going to do something like fixed on the customer ID, and I'm fixing it on the customer ID because I'm going to need to take the customer ID out of the view later to count all of the customers up. And I'm going to say sum if region equals east, then one, end, and then mustachio to close it. And we'll say, is that greater than zero? So that's basically saying, if the customer made a purchase in the east, assign it a value of one and check whether or not that's greater than zero. So let's just see what that one's doing first. So let's go ahead and drag that into the rows. And we can see everywhere we have a purchase in the east, we get a true, and everywhere else we get a null. All right, so let's add a second part to that. We want to say, and, and let's just copy this and paste it here. And now we want to look at the west region. And let's hit apply. And now we can see our trues and our nulls have changed. So it's true if they made a purchase in both the east and the west. In other words, if I have a mark in both the east and the west. And it's null otherwise. So in this third row here, you can see they didn't make a purchase in the west. So I'm getting nothing back. If they didn't make a purchase in the east, I get nothing back. OK, great. So now what we want to do is we want to say if if they made both of these purchases, so let me just clean this up a bit, then I want to return the customer ID. Okay, I'll space this out a bit so it's e a bit easier to read. And then end. 
and let's see what this does now. So you see now I'm just returning the customer ID. So I'm getting a list of unique values. The last thing I want to do then is I want to wrap this in account distinct because I want to count each customer one time. Now this is going to break this view, but that's okay. So I'm going to take this out of the view. And uh, oh, let me go back for a second actually. If I look at the number of values that are null, so let me exclude the nulls. And you'll see down on the bottom here, I have 480 or 584 rows. So that's the answer I'm looking for when I um, count my number of customers. So let me go back in here and fix this and, and correct this again. So I just need to add my count distinct back in here and hit OK. And now let's take customer. Let's let's actually take uh, let's take everything out of the view. And we now just want to put combined purchases onto the text, and I get 584. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So I can go ahead and delete that sheet now. So on this second average of on this shelf that says average of zero, I'm just going to drag combined purchases onto the text shelf. And now maybe I make that a nice a nice big font as well. Maybe we'll make this one 18 point, and hit OK. So now all I need to do is just dual access these charts. I don't need to synchronize because zero is because this is zero, it's always going to be in the middle. And now I just need to maybe rearrange my chart a bit. So I'm going to drag it in from the right, and you can see the, the field starting to overlap a bit. Now, one thing I'd like to do here is I'm going to go to my uh, circles and I'm going to add a border on them so I can you know see where they overlap a bit, and I'm going to reduce the opacity. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors. So I'm going to set the uh, I'm going to set the east to be the green, and the uh, west to be maybe my my orange. And there we go. So now we have there's 674 customers in the east, 686 in the west, and 584 of those made purchases in both regions. Lastly, we want to go ahead and clean up the chart. So I'm going to right click on my bottom axis and uncheck show header. Format the view. I'm going to go to my borders. I'm going to set my row divider to none, my column divider to none, and then I'm going to go over to my lines option. I'm going to set my grid lines to none and my zero line to none. And now we have a nice cleaned up uh, Venn diagram. Hope you found that useful. Have a great day.